hey welcome back to another exciting math video today we are going to be focusing on mean median mode and range and today we're concentrating specifically on how to find the median of a list of data so let's take a look here as you see on the screen we have three possibly four easy steps to finding the median of our uh, of our data and so step number one says to list your numbers in order from least to greatest um, step number two you are going to cross off your numbers, alternating back and forth from your lowest value to your highest value. And then step number three, the number that you have remaining is your median. Now, a lot of times with um, finding the median, there is a special step that sometimes is required. If you come down to two numbers that are remaining, um, you can't cross them both off because you won't have any numbers left. But if you come down to those two numbers, you must find the mean or the average of those two numbers. So let's take a look here at our uh, first example. Now I used the same examples as yesterday. And so as you can see here, we have our Fahrenheit temperature for April for a matter of two weeks. And you can see it once again, we have our line plot. Um, and so I have my numbers listed out in order from least to greatest. And so I'm going to take those numbers now and I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to cross them off alternating back and forth between the highest value and the lowest value. So as I'm gonna try my best here um, with my stylus pen to cross these off, low, high, high, low, high. And I keep saying low, high, back and forth, um, just so that I know that it helps me keep track of, did I cross off my low number yet? My high number, low, high. Now, I did say that when you come down to your two remaining numbers, that you must find the average. Now, let's think about this. If you have a 64 and a 64, and you find the average of those two numbers, your median of this will be 64. There is really no need in this example to add 64 plus 64 and divide by two because you would still get an answer of 64. So that was a good example to start off with just by showing you that that actually will commonly happen. Let's take a look at our second example here. As you can see, we have a couple of things um, blocked off. That's our answer down below. So I don't want you to see that quite yet. We have our list of data. These could just be random numbers. It doesn't need to have a title. And my second step, as you see here in this line, um, I've put them in order from least to greatest. And so whenever I did that, I will now cross them off low, high, or, you know, least, greatest, low, high, low, high, low, high, low, high. Oops, sorry about that. All right, so now I come down to two numbers. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, well, the middle number, the average of 13 and 14 is right in the middle. That's correct. Um, but we are going to show you mathematically how we would do this. So I said you have to find the average of those two numbers. So I take 13 plus 14 and I get a sum of 27. My next step at this point is to then take those, take the sum 27 and divide it by the two numbers that I have remaining, which gives us an answer of 13 and a half. So 13 and a half is our median. So let's go back to our uh, first screen and just review these steps once again. So when we are finding the median of a list of numbers, first, list your numbers in order from least to greatest. Second, cross off your numbers, alternating back and forth between your lowest value and your highest value. Step number three, um, the number that you have remaining is your median. But as we said, quite commonly in finding median, you have to um, find the average of the two remaining numbers. And so the way that you find that average, just like on our video from yesterday, is you add those two numbers together and you divide it by two, since you were finding the mean of two numbers. So that wraps up today's video on median. Hopefully you'll tune in tomorrow as we get into mode. Uh, that's a very, very exciting video uh, topic to tune in for. So hopefully we see you back here tomorrow. Take care.